This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week on Archer's Choice, we have SWD. Severe whitetail disorders. Yes, everyone has it. If you don't know what we're talking about, you soon will. Never give this woman caffeine. Do you see what I deal with? This week's Lucky Logo is True Glow. So if you see the Lucky Logo, if you see True Glow, at the end of the show, we'll tell you what you need to do. And someone's going with some True Glow stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah. First, we're going to get into Hoppy Kempfer Posse from Florida. He's going to be up with Lone Pine Outfitters. He's going to be hunting whitetail deer. And then we're going to get into the Helen's little family thing going up in North Dakota. What's the matter? I'm just... We have a time here. We're trying to make it in the time because we have so much footage to show during the show. We got to go. You know, you talk about disorders. <laughs> I married one. It's a pretty good cloud coming there, calling for snow flurries, maybe some rain. Hopefully it'll all work out. We we didn't we can't get that camera wet though. Three thousand miles from home or twenty five, I don't know where how far we are. But uh hopefully the rain'll hold off, we can get a shot at a buck. I got a good feeling they're gonna come through here this evening. Carbon Arrows. Following segment is brought to you by Mad Dog Gear and the new Archer's Choice suit. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Why are you inside the corn crib? Because I feel like I have um, a disorder. You have a disorder. It's just still out on what kind of disorder he has. I don't know. Yes. Well, we saw Hoppy's covered up with deer. He is covered up with deer. Covered up with white tails up at Lone Pine up yep. in Alberta. And now let's see if he can seal the deal. You go, Big Hop.
Can I have a Coke and some fries with my Big Mac? <laughs> have you ever been surrounded with so many cotton picking bugs? My gosh. I'm standing here with my binoculars in my hand. And these deer are appearing right underneath us. <clears throat> but I want to take a look at a big deer before he comes in. And I hear one coming and I'm thinking, it's gotta be a big one here somewhere. And I look down, he's six yards from us right here under me. Oh! Uh. I was anxious to see what would that would do. You know, we're in the middle of nowhere, but one one farmhouse here in a field, and that's where we're hunting. That's where the deer are. That's where we got to go. We almost sit in that horse trailer the other afternoon and tried our luck, but right there's the man. <clears throat> well, guys, we got our deer here. The ten point. It's my first typical ten point I've ever killed. Uh, I'm pretty much emotionally drained right now <laughs> from all these deer running around us. Jason, I know this isn't the deer that you and uh, Dan had seen the other day that y'all were bickering back and forth about. I, I uh, wasn't sure we was gonna see him. Well, we took this one instead. You hadn't even seen this deer here. No, this deer I haven't seen yet. <laughs> uh, he's not a real wide buck, but he's got 10 full points. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week is why we miss from tree stands, from any kind of elevated stand. The main cause for missing is when you're shooting on the ground, you have your perfect T formation. Your shoulders are locked in, you're tight, you're ready to go. When you're in a tree stand, some of us have a tendency of just dropping that arm rather than keeping the T formation. You have to remember, keep your T formation, bend at your waist. That's what you need to remember. That way your arrow's not gonna go over that deer next time. That was your Bowhunting World Magazine tip of the week. You go, Hoppy, huh? That was awesome. That was and cool, and that was his first 10 point he's ever shot. Yeah, and up in Alberta on top of it. Go figure that yep. one. Yep, go figure that one. Go figure that one. Okay, well now it's time to go to Two Rivers Outfitters. Right, in North Dakota. In North Dakota, with the Helen family. The Helens. Art, Michelle, and Elena. Right, and what's really cool is here's a whole family going hunting. Yes. And now we're gonna go into Elena's, I believe it's her first night out in the stand. And what, Bow a, what a night she has. We're here in North Dakota with Eldon Chrisman. And he, um, we're in a different stand tonight. And we've seen some deer. So it's a little different for me. Normally I hunt ladder stands. This one's a hang on. It's kind of high. Um, so we're hoping that tonight will go well for me and I'll be able to get my first buck.
close, so close, but yet so far. <laughs> Welcome back, back to the, to the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Twin poke, do you want me a Coke? Where did that come from? You never heard that? No. Pinch poke, you owe me a Coke when you jinx someone? Now I really like the idea of the Buffet Show. I'm gonna Buffet you, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now let's get into arts on North Dakota. Pinch poke, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> Buffet. Good bucks. Um, we just had a different area this morning. Things were a little bit slower. It's starting to get a little, a little bit hotter out, but today and tomorrow, and then it's supposed to start cooling down again. But I don't know. There's so many deer in here. I don't know if it's really going to slow it down. We just checked the cameras over here. There's a big tent in here, but two in the morning so we're kind of hoping that that was on its way in we'll catch him on its way out back to the sugar beet field so it's about that time settle down see what happens Oh no, Art, you're in your favorite tree. It's in his lucky tree. Oh my goodness. Oh no, dear, Something beware. Something good might happen. Hmm. Dakota with Eldon Chrisman, two river outfitters. Eldon put us on this buck last night. Well, what can I say? Put us back in the same stand I actually shot my deer out of last year. You know, we, I, I hunt the same stand because it seems to be my lucky stand. You know, again, I, I got to thank Eldon. I got to thank Archer's Choice Media, Ralph and Vicky for putting this together. Uh, the big man upstairs for giving us the opportunity to, to do what we do. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now... You go, Art. You go, buddy. That's right. Art, congratulations. Sorry for any kind of snide comments we might have made 
during and before your hunt. Because <laughs> you got to remember, good girls love bad boys. Is that why it's Michelle's turn to hunt now? She's married to Art, so therefore, I think you got a little extra grease there on your pinky. Let's get the footage rolling. <laughs> We're hunting in North Dakota with Eldon Christman, two of our outfitters. It's a warm night tonight. We picked this dam location tonight based on the fact that we've got a north wind and we've had a high level of deer activity here. This is where Elena had her two encounters last night. And we're gonna hope that the deer come through the timber and out into this open corridor out here and that we get a chance. That's the unlucky tree. Art, you're supposed to give them the lucky tree. We sure hope you enjoyed this week's SWD, Severe white tail Disorders, up in Alberta with Jason Martin, Lone Pine Outfitters, and then... North Dakota, too. Yes, mm -hmm. where the Helens, yep. the family Michelle went. Michelle and Elena, they went. They had a great time. Unfortunately, Art put them in the unlucky tree, and Michelle and Elena weren't allowed to get their deer. It's but they tried. Fault. They were out there in the woods. It's a great thing. It's a family thing. It's the husband, the wife, the kids. We give you guys a big round of applause. And Hoppy. And Hoppy the up The crazy there. Floridian. Yes. Went up to Alberta. Floridian again. If you saw this week's lucky logo, True Glow, you need True to go glow. to huntingnet.com slash archer's choice. Log in. Let us know where you saw that logo. We made it a little bit easier to see this time. And uh, someone's going to win some fun stuff from True Glow. Yes. Yes. So are you happy now? We're happy. Yes, it's hot out here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time, same channel, right here on the Archer's Choice. What are you doing? Turn on our air conditioning. Yeah, right, whatever. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh.